here with the primary six sevens and the senior citizens of the village and we're going to be carrying out some intergenerational learning. The Senior Citizens Club has been running here in the school for six years. There was a, a gap between the old and the young in the village and so by creating this club we've brought them together for greater understanding. Each time we meet we have roughly 40 pensioners who come along. It keeps us part of a community and it keeps us in touch with the younger generation. Keeps you young, is it? It keeps you young, yes. <laughs> I like it how we do active things and take them out places to school trips that we go on. When you're retired, you get fed up sitting in the house in the winter time. They can socialise. We're not doing the same every time we do lots of different things. And we play games with the children. We go for bus runs in the summer. Trips, meeting people. We sometimes have to help make tea. There's no longer a divide between old and young. They're all very good with the senior citizens. We applied for a grant from Scott Mid, which allowed us to purchase cameras and a microphone and stand used by the children and the senior citizens to be interviewed to capture memories. It's introduce yourself. Stories and experiences which would have been lost are now with us forever. It's a true legacy that's being left behind here. Some of the things we have learnt is about the olden days, about the school burning down, how they lived, some of them going in the war. They've done lots of amazing things in their life. The old people used to write on slates, but now they've been scrolling through iPads, which we think is a big improvement. And we've also learned that they didn't have many things to do then. We just had to make our own entertainment. The village, I would say, is a happier place. I think they enjoy looking after the old uh, deer. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I learned that senior citizens are not that boring at all. Yeah!